Listen, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I haven't like structured this video in any way at all. I'm just back and playing a match myself. Uh, so I just I just wanted to jump on and make a quick video about some of the comments made last night from Waterford manager John Sheridan. Um, well, Vinnie Perth actually made the comments of talking about what John Sheridan had said during the game and stuff. So, yeah, I haven't really put a structure in place, but we're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to have a little chat about it. It won't be a, a very long video, but I do want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. I just want to start off by saying um, Vinnie Perth genuinely never met a nicer man in my life uh, top top bloke I uh, only met him briefly a couple of times I think um, we interviewed him after the game last game of the season um, against St. Pat's last year and Dundalk as he lifted the trophy and I have to say like of every single person there like he, he didn't have to stop and talk to us he had definitely had better things to be doing stop and talk to us was so pleasant uh, every single person on the pitch whoever wanted a photo he was the last person the first from the time the full time whistle went to the he was the last person standing out there just getting pictures and signing autographs whatever anyone wanted Vinnie Perth genuinely I think he's a very genuine nice person and uh, he used to be the manager of my local team Al Hodge United as well so yeah he, he, he's, he's always seemed like a really top bloke um, but yeah, I just want to put that out there first. Listen, I presume you've all seen what's been said, but just to kind of go through what Vinnie Pert said after the game, he said um, he will always defend his league wherever he is, uh, and it's not good enough, and he won't accept the comments that John Sheridan made uh, regarding that he called the League of Ireland a, a pub league. So yeah, it's a strange that he called it a pub league. Why would he be managing it? He must be a public manager like what well, it's just an insult to himself and his players and his club that he's employed by and paying his wages it's just very odd um, and it's so insulting to every single player in the league every single staff member of the league all the fans of the league every single volunteer there's such a volunteer so many volunteers involved in the runnings of clubs so it's just a huge insult I think um, to be thrown about yeah I, I kind of it's one of those things where during games things can get heated, things can be said. Uh, I believe he said something to Vinnie Perth along the lines of uh, you'll be sacked or something along that, them lines. Um, which is, it's it's unprofessional and it's it's not nice. But listen, it's fo football, things can be said. Um, but so you can kind of get over that. It's the fact he's kind of bringing it into the, I believe on RT after his interview, John Sheridan was keeping it going, talking like, denying that he knew who Vinnie Perth was and stuff I don't know it just seems a bit so unprofessional so childish of him and he did a moment I could nearly get over it um, but he he crossed the line big time in my book um, and I see Waterford fans defending him online and on Twitter I had one we tweeted out last night and I saw a Waterford fan defending him and I don't know, it's, I just don't think there's a defence for that I think Waterford need to for the best way of putting it, have the balls to come out and say something against this because it's not it's not right for their manager, an uh, employee, the face of the club kind of thing to be able to say these things about the league round. I don't. It needs a sour taste in every single other club in the league's mouth, and um, it's a shame for Waterford as well because Waterford actually played well in the game. Listen, they're going to be disappointed that they conceded the two goals in the fashion that they did. It's weird because the it's been overshadowed that they actually got a point at Oriel Park and they should have had all three conceding two corners in the last. Uh, 10 minutes is, is terribly disappointing I think John Sheridan would be disappointed by that himself because uh, they're weak goals to concede and people have been saying that Vinnie Perth is kind of using this to uh, take the shine off Dundalk's poor performances which there's no doubt about it at the moment nobody can deny not even Dundalk fans can deny that they have been dreadful dreadful as of late and there's no denying that and I don't think Vinnie Perth would even deny that his team have been very very below par um, since the restart um, I've watched I watched the Pats game I watched the Bowls game. Uh, I didn't watch the game last night, but I believe they were poor. And this, this, it's not. It's not. I don't think. I don't think Vinnie Perth saying these things is taking any shine away from that. I be, like everyone knows what's going on at Dundalk, so I don't know. It's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. But um, yeah, for for John Sheridan to come out and say that stuff, it's just it's just such a uh, such a kick kicking the teeth for. I, I presume there's a lot of Waterford fans that can't that aren't happy with him. Simple as that. It did kick off a bit on social media um, last night after the comments were made. No surprise about it. Um, Steve, former Irish international Stephen Elliott came out and said, Not great comments by John Sheridan, if true. However, a lot of the stuff is said in the heat of the battle on the sideline. You can't help but feel that Vinny is trying to deflect a bit of the attention from Dundalk's poor form since the resumption of games by trying to turn LOI fans on Sheridan. That's 
I don't know. Conan Byrne came back and said, "Can't agree with you here, Stephen. Finney has been involved in the LOI for more than two decades, and I truly believe that if David McMillan scored that last-minute chance, Vinny would still be talking about it. No deflecting here, just calling out John Sheridan on his poor comments. And yeah, I think Conan Byrne is right there, and um, in what he he's replied to Stephen Elliott because I just think I I, I believe as well that Vinny Pert isn't the type of person to uh, deflect deflect um the criticism that he he does he deserves in, in terms of his managerial uh in his managing of the side right now um because they're not obviously they're just not getting the results and they've the squad there that should be getting the results but he won the league last season he won like i don't know what um well like teams can go through rough patches and stuff and they have looked they've lacked a lot Dundalk this season but in terms of um in terms of trying to get people to turn on John Sheridan and stuff, I think John Sheridan's doing a good enough job of that himself. The deflecting thing is interesting. Like it's a tactic that you've seen managers use in the past, like some Mourinho and stuff, uh, deflecting blame and finding other things as well. So, but I, I don't think Vinny is that kind of person. I just don't. I don't. I don't believe that. But who knows? I suppose. But uh, yeah, I, I was definitely. I if I was a Waterford fan, I'd feel very very disappointed, and I'd, I'd want the club to make some sort of a some sort of a statement um, I'm not sure if it's warranting John Sheridan to lose his job he's done a good job since he's come in in all fairness uh, I'm not sure if if it warrants uh, a sacking like I don't know what the story is but I'd, li- I'd like to hear from John Sheridan to clarify his comments a little bit because it is strange that why why would he come to manage in the league if, if he thinks of it so so poorly um, and yeah and I've heard a lot of people coming out and saying and maybe it was in it was in terms of an anger spur of the moment thing uh, saying that John Sheridan should lose his job but I think that might be a little bit rash I'm not too sure anyways guys what do you think let me know down in the comments below if you did enjoy the video please make sure to drop a like on it I think I talked for a bit longer than I meant to but yeah I was just kind of going I, as I said I didn't really have a structure to it I was just kind of talking um talking to you guys so if you did enjoy drop a like as i said and please subscribe we're closing in on 2k we do really appreciate it hope you're keeping well talk to you in a bit